one of the things I like to do when I'm teaching a young horse to, or a donkey to a mule, whatever, uh, to harness up and to be hooked up is I'll hobble him. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I've taught him how to hobble. I really want him to get into the habit of just standing real still and the hobbles help me do that while we're while we're harnessing up. It helped him from being confused. So I'm still using my my makeshift harness here. Usually we have him tied up while we're putting this on and as you can see it's a mess so these hobbles help him just kind of hang out and learn not move around so much I don't have a saddle stand or anything to hook these things up with so boy he was tied up he would never really learn to just sit still so this allows him to move a little bit if he wants to learn that everything don't mean move you don't have to be worried about certain things so Hobbles are a, a great training tool. stuff you get tangled up the better it is <laughs> teaches the, the animal just to take it sit still and put up with a lot of distractions and a lot of stuff still on the last hole but he's growing
C'est bon C'est bon Oh Oh Bac Oh 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 Ok Here we go. Step right. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of weight to the tire. And old Jack's gonna get a workout. Come up. Come up. Come up. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Come up. Come up. Whoa. Back. Back. Whoa. Whoa now. Come up. Right, step right, step right, all right, step left, step left, step left, step left, step left, step left, come up, step right, step right, step right, come up, we go. Ooh, back. Back. Woo. Alrighty, folks. I'm going to interrupt this donkey training <laughs> to bring you uh, one of our sponsors. This is from Michelle C. Susan City, California. Uh, thank you. She sent us, through our Amazon wish list, she sent us some peppermint uh, flavored nuggets for the horses and Prince Jack. Actually sent two bags of those. Thank you so much, Michelle. Really appreciate it. Anytime anybody takes and gets us anything off of our Amazon wish list, thank you for supporting our channel. We really appreciate it. It's just really humbling that people would follow along in our lives and, and take interest in what we're doing uh, and that they enjoy the content. So she sent us those and she sent us a battery for one of our computers. Uh, Anna's computer has had some battery problems uh, and one of our other subscribers actually got the power cord for, um, but it needed a battery. Because if you unplug it or you lose power, then you lose everything you're working on. Um, and she has a more sophisticated um, editing system, and she's really good at it. So this is really going to help out when we do special things and special events. She's going to be able to, to take and do that. We really appreciate it. Uh, again, just a, just a humbling experience. So... Thank y'all, Michelle C., Sioux, Sioux Sun City, California. 
Thank you. Now, let's get back to the donkey training. Come up. Come up. Step left. Step left. Step left. Step left. Come up. Left. There you go. Good boy. Good left. Oop, left. Go. Left. Good left. Good left. Left, step left, step left. Step right, go. Oh, son. Oh, son. Good lad. Good lad. Boy, you had a workout today, didn't you? Alrighty, folks, we added a concrete block to it, and it was it was fairly heavy for him. In the deeper sand, it dug pretty deep, but he got a good workout. I did work a little bit on on trailer loading. Uh, he has an issue with the two horse horse trailer. Worked with him, got him really good. Could just load him right up in there. Just takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of work. Uh, um, I probably spent two hours this morning with him just working through things. He got tangled up a few times and and he had to learn how to just relax and and get out of it or have me help him get out of it that's part of horse training sometimes you get into wrecks and you've got to teach them that you just got to sit still let me get you out of it nothing major nothing bad happened to him he just got tangled up and when he got tangled up he got confused so no biggies uh trailer loading's doing real good i'll show you some of that in a future video just progressing really good i'm hoping here pretty soon to get him in the chariot and get him to get him to driving it um his strength is is getting better uh we used him as you seen the other day on the as a pack horse as a pack mule um he did really good he he didn't seem to bother with the panners he carried 160 pounds of water was really good at it um so he's he's got a good mind uh he does get confused sometimes and there's sometimes he just, he thinks overthinks too much. Uh, he goes, I don't like how that looks, so I'm not going there. So then I have to work and, and get his trust built to where he does go in there and prove to him that 
It's not going to eat him. It's not going to hurt him. That's just part of donkeys. They overthink things. With that being said, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be not weary and well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. We'll see you later.